My name Hi, my name is Julie Paskett and I'm a Senior Career Advisor in Career Exploration and Development. Today I'm here to speak with you about writing a cover letter for a school district position. A cover letter is a one-page document that provides recruiters with two to three specific examples of how you are qualified for the position you're applying for. Cover letters should always be tailored and written for a specific job description, and while you may use pieces and examples throughout multiple cover letters, you will write a new cover letter for every position you apply to. Cover letters should be block formatted and left aligned, as shown here. A cover letter starts with your address or the header from your resume. This is followed by the date that you write the letter. The inside address is the contact information for the specific person you are writing to. It is important to address your cover letter to a person, whether that be the superintendent, the director of human resources, a talent acquisition specialist, or the principal of the school or district you are applying to. Regarding content, we recommend a cover letter follow a basic four paragraph structure. The first paragraph tells the reader why you are writing to them, including the position title you are applying for and how you learned about that position. The second paragraph includes the most detail and should be the bulk of your letter. Here, it, you want to provide two to three specific examples of how you are qualified for the position, providing examples of times you demonstrated the skills they are looking for in candidates. Remember to address not just what you did, but how and why you demonstrated your skills. You do not want to simply restate your resume here, but rather enhance a few highlights from your resume in your examples. The third paragraph will explain why you want to work for that district, school, or organization. What did you connect to when researching them? This paragraph need only be two to three sentences, but should refer to your prior research, including the school's values, mission statements, or teaching philosophy. You can also choose to name drop with permission if you know someone working in that district in this paragraph. The final paragraph is where you ask for a follow-up and restate your contact information. It is recommended to assume that the reader will follow up with you, but you should be cautious in assuming they will offer you the interview or position. I personally like to say, I look forward to hearing from you soon. After your closing, insert your actual signature whether by using a photo of your signature, a signature app, or by printing and signing the letter. My final tips for writing a successful cover letter are to always proofread thoroughly for grammar and spelling errors, to, to save it as a PDF before sending it, and to always keep it less than one page. A final cover letter may look something like this example here. A well-written cover letter can make the difference between mo in moving your application to the top of the pile. So for more information or assistance in writing your cover letter, contact Career Exploration and Development at www.kent.edu slash career. Thank you.